Meanwhile, turning overseas, U.S. is not alone in its fight against the Omicron variant. Cases have now been reported in at least 19 other countries or territories all around the world, including South Africa, where the strain was first identified. And that's where we find our Deborah Pata, who's been spending time with scientists there doing absolutely crucial research into the origins of this strain. And they've already learned a lot. This is ground zero for Omicron. Scientists in this high-risk biohazard lab arm themselves for another day on the COVID battlefront. They are hot on the trail of the new mutant strain circling the globe. Zay, I'm coming to give you a cryo box from the freezer. Here, they are growing live Omicron, which will be tested against the blood of fully vaccinated people, as well as those who were previously infected. Heading up this team at the Africa Health Research Institute is virologist Alex Segal. This is probably the most mutated virus uh, we'd ever seen. The variant has more than 50 mutations, over 30 in the spike protein, making it easier to attach itself to human cells. It's more of a Frankenstein than others, but it's always something new. I mean, the virus keeps surprising us. Now they are collaborating with other scientists to determine if the variant blunts vaccine immunity. This lab has received multiple requests for samples of Omicron, which are being packed to be shipped off to other research institutes around the country. Infectious disease expert Richard Lessels works next door at the sequencing lab that helped identify the new variant and is studying the spread of Omicron in real time. What's critical now over the next week or two is to really see in the data what the pattern is there. Is there an increasing rate of infections in the vaccinated? And what is the severity of disease in, in those individuals? Sigal believes Omicron has been clocking up evolutionary changes for well over six months now by lurking in an immune compromised person who was unable to clear a COVID infection. He warns as long as Africa lags behind in vaccinations, this won't be the last mutation. We're going to learn together the rest of the Greek alphabet. Unless we understand why these variants evolve, how they evolve and be able to predict them. There's been an uptick in infections amongst young people in South Africa, but these scientists are confident that existing vaccines will protect against serious illness and hospitalization. They'll have those answers in less than 10 days. Nate? Deborah Pata, thank you.